Hello, YouTube. I'm fixing to take a day trip. I'm going back over to French Lick and West Baden Springs. I want to do a little bit of Christmas shopping because I've seen a few stores over there I'd like to look through. Right now I'm in downtown Salem. And hopefully here about a half an hour, 40 minutes or so, I'll be in French Lick. I'll go ahead and pause this here. Might highlight a little bit more of the trip along the way. Uh, we're about halfway to Livonia now. Halfway between Salem and Livonia. Um, it's a pretty day to be out. Not going to be anything like tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think the high here is supposed to be about 38 degrees. Right now, it's about 56. And just beautiful out. But like I say, tomorrow... Ooh, it's going to be a cold one tomorrow. I think it's supposed to get down to 32 tonight and then 27 tomorrow night. But all in all, I guess we've had a decent stretch because I've seen it snow pretty deep up here before on Halloween. So, <laughs> or at least in October, anyhow. Um, and usually about I've seen it several times in mid-November get down the teens here so I think we're still doing pretty good it's a nice pretty day for a drive I've got a truck that's been riding my rear end ever since I left Salem I guess He's going all the way to French Lick, too. That's usually the way it happens. And won't pass. <laughs> well, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah. There's so little traffic on this road. If you hear the engine surge or something like that, that's only because I have it set on cruise control. <laughs> if I happen to catch up with them vehicles up there, since one of them put his brake lights on, I don't know if he stopped for something or what. But... Yeah, they're stopping for something. hill and we drop down to the bottom of it we'll be coming into Livonia it's not a great big town or a whole lot to look at or anything but a matter of fact it's a little one horse town I, I don't even remember if it had, I think it has a caution light at the other end of town where two, where two highways meet but I say the other end of town that, that's about half a mile from here. <laughs> well, I guess I better start dropping my speed again. There used to be a speed trap through here. I don't know if it still is or not, but I'm not willing to find, get, get a ticket on it finding out. see in Livonia. There used to be two really nasty looking houses up here. There's a crazy fellow that lived here for years and years. They said he was shell-shocked in World War II. And he used to have appliances all over his front porches and 
junk laying everywhere and stuff hanging out of his trees, everything from toilet paper to chain. A fellow named Davy Burns, but they carted him off to a nursing home up in Indianapolis about five, six years ago, I think. The two old houses burned down. It was right here on either side of the road. I think one had originally belonged to him and one had belonged to his mama. Of course, his mama passed on God knows when and how, long, how many years ago, but... All right, well, we're out of Livonia, so I want to pause it here. About several years ago, they used to have them chat rooms on the, on the computer. I was talking to this fella and said that he was from uh, North Carolina. And I said, well, I, I live in Southern Indiana, but I'm originally from Northwest Tennessee. He said, well, he had his family history. He said, 200 years ago, about half of his family packed up and went west. And they settled in southern Indiana. And I said, oh, really, where? He said, oh, you probably would have never heard of it. A little hole-in-the-wall place called Stamper's Creek. I said, not only have I heard of it, I know where it is. And... I said, if you tell me the names of some of them, I'll see if I can find their graves for you and take a picture of them. Right up here on the highway, I think, I believe it's over this next hill is Stamper's Creek. And it's a pretty big cemetery. I'm, I'm glad he didn't want me to go ahead and look for them. Because that would have taken a couple of days, I think. depressed but about oh 10 15 years ago that cook company come in and they got a casino opened and they invested I forget how many hundreds of millions into them two hotels over in French Lick and since then Orange County has begun to perk up some uh, Paoli is now I mean, it used to be just, it was close to the size of Salem, but didn't have near the population or anything. And now it's done past Salem. Uh, we're just about downtown, as much in downtown as you can get, because the courthouse is right up there in front of us. I'm getting it good on the camera or not. Looks like a big Greek revival type building. Now the square here is just opposite from the square in Salem. In Salem, people coming onto the square from the highway have the right of way. 
here in Paoli, people on the square have the right of way. <laughs> so it gets confusion. You can tell when somebody that's from Paoli comes over to Salem because they'll stop before they get on the square and you start people start honking their horns at them. This is not Paoli. <laughs> since them casinos have come in while well, they've widened out the road the highways and put in new drainage and storm gutters and everything and, and the biggest change has been over in French Lick and West Baden because back oh hell as late as my 30s those two towns West Baden was a ghost town and French Lick was pretty much a ghost town too but now every building is full and has a business in it and running and everything all because of that casino and them hotels well, them hotels have been there for over a hundred years but without any gambling, which is what they, two things they originally had going for them, they, they had gambling at those hotels back at the turn of the last century and they were known for that Pluto water, some kind of mineral water, you could either drink it or bathe in it and people used to go there to take the waters and whatnot, but supposed to have been like a big health spa. But we'll be there shortly. I'm going to turn this camera off because this is a windy road. And it's hard to hold this camera and drive at the same time. And we're coming into West Baden Springs. Like I say, this used to just be a tiny little two lane through here and here in the last five years they've made walking path over there on the side and put in all these lights and new gutters and everything they already got the Christmas decorations up looks like but you can tell I mean that there's not much business around but they have spruced up all the buildings and, and what buildings they do have are packed with businesses. I, mean, I remember when these buildings here were just empty shells and now I say that they're just packed with stuff. And you're not in West Baden too awful long In just a, a moment or two. And I believe up there, just past that JC store sign, you're out of West Baden and into French Lick. <laughs> Let me shut this off till I find something to look at. Well, there's the back side of that big hotel I went to. I stopped over at a gift store a while ago and got my little brother and his wife a Christmas present and got my aunt and uncle down in Tennessee a Christmas present. I'm trying to see if there's any other little gift stores look around through around here but I'm sure there's I'm sure there are but 
I wouldn't know where to begin to look. But for what it is, I'd be looking for. I don't even know if you can drive through there or not. No. It's a good thing because I almost wanted to turn left there. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll come out here up on the street up ahead. Huh. Well, if I had a lot of energy for walking, someday I'll come up here when it's nicer weather and well I mean warmer weather a little bit on the cool side right now and I've got to pee <laughs> I've got to find a bathroom somewhere <laughs> that that throws me off of doing a whole lot of walking because with this diabetes it seems like every, about every 20-30 minutes I have to go to the bathroom and you just don't get a whole lot done that way trying to get out and about, but let's see here. Well, there's no going straight on either one of these, but I want to pull across the street here just the same over into this hubs. And, well, maybe I won't. I guess I'll have to go around the, all right, well, I got, I got the arrow. I want to pull through here and Hang down in here. <laughs> Pull up here. And... Oh, mercy. Well, that's the outside of that big hotel, or, or the front end of it. That there with the little dome is the casino. Now we'll go ahead and head out here. And I think I'm about done shopping here. Not really much else to see here, so I think I wanna call it quits and head on back to Indiana. Or Indiana. <laughs> head on back to Canton. train museum right over there and someday I'll come over here and we'll take a journey on this train here let me get off of here and I'll put it on again here for long as I can now coming up here around this curve, I had always heard that this Castle Knoll Farm up here, see all these big farm buildings and stuff, and a big long white fence going around it. I've always heard and been told that years ago that this farm belonged to Bing Crosby. There's just a little bitty house on it up there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, that's one of the things I'd always been told was that that farm belonged to Ben Crosby back in the day. Well, now across the road from it, they got a big old rock quarry there. <laughs> I don't know how long the highway has been over on this alignment and you can see there's no road over there on either side there but look at there there's a bridge to nowhere <laughs> they never did tear it down they just left it there I noticed that 
gosh, back when I was a teenager and had that old 70 Nova I come up through here one time and it was winter and I happened to look off to the left, I was like, look at that old bridge over there. But it's still standing there. Got trees growing up on the decking of it, which is weird considering that the decking is concrete. But I just thought it'd be something neat to show you before I got back to the house. All right, well, this is Gary signing off. Thanks for watching. One more thing. I don't know. Sometimes on ESPN, you'll see a races on there. And here's the Salem Speedway. <laughs> and they show that on there occasionally. I just thought I'd throw that in just kind of a little extra there. I think the battery's about gone on this camcorder here, so. And I'm coming right back into Salem now. From the east, excuse me, from the west side of town, head, heading east. And I'll be back home in probably about 10, 15 minutes. All right. Once again, this is Gary signing off, and thanks for watching.